Hello, welcome back. This video we're having a quick look at basically Windows power options. Okay, you should be able to access it by looking at your battery over here if you're on a laptop. Okay, and then click on power options. Okay, now there's a couple of options. You can have balanced, okay, power saver. There's also a high performance one, which is basically if you're doing a lot of intensive work, for example, video editing or whatever, you might want to go on high performance. Okay, and that's fine. All right. Okay. Now, there are options that you can set. For example, what happens when you press the power button? What happens when you press the sleep button? Okay. Okay, let's click over there. Now, for example, let's assume you're on battery. Okay, when you press the power button, you might want to turn off the display or shut down. Okay, it's definitely worth having a look at that. Okay. You can have a lock account picture showing up over there that's fine okay you have over here in high performance let's change that change advanced power settings you can also restore it over there now if you look over here okay hard disk okay maximum power level on battery hard 100% you can reduce the amount of power that's going to your hard disk it'll also kind of like reduce its efficiency a little bit Okay, um, turn off hard disk after a certain amount of time. You may or may not want that. That can be a little bit problematic. Your drive goes to sleep and then waking up can sometimes be a problem. Okay, you have a few things regarding Internet Explorer. Okay, JavaScript, timer frequency, background settings. Okay, slideshows. Okay, on battery available. You can have things paused, etc. You know, if you're trying to save energy. Okay, wireless adapter settings. Okay. You'd have power saving mode on battery maximum performance. Okay. You might want to have low power setting, medium power setting. So basically, your wireless will run a little bit less efficient. You might get cut off every once in a while on the low power settings. However, it does save your battery if your battery is more important. Okay. Sleep. Okay. Allow wake timers. Okay. On battery, you might have, for example, your network wakes you up. USB settings you have, okay, selected suspend mode, okay, um, power buttons and lid, what happens when you shut the lid, when you press the sleep button, okay, PCI Express, okay, link state power management, okay, over here on battery off, probably better, okay, processor power management, that's quite an interesting thing, okay, cooling policy, okay, very important to have your cooling operating highly efficiently, especially on laptops and other equipment. Um, I would suggest you keep it active. However, you could have it as a passive where it's a little bit different. Okay, display. You can have it turn off the display after a certain time. You can enable adaptive brightness. So basically, based on the settings, it will kind of like change the brightness. Okay, you have some multimedia settings and you have the battery. Okay, so that's that. Hopefully this helps you to get a little bit more time out of your battery, okay? And also maybe improves your performance, okay? Hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching.